Sets are very useful in Nevisworks for organizing your model. Open the Search Sets tab, and for the first example, we'll create a selection set. So you can see in this model, we've got structural MEP model. So we're going to select all of the fire elements, use the mouse and control button, and then save this as a selection, and we call this all FP. And then we can hide the unselected so we can see what we've picked. This is the full set of the fire sprinklers. We'll create another selection set for the structure. So we'll pick all of the CN models, so using the mouse and shift key. And we call this all structure. So now we can turn on and off all the structural models, or we can isolate it. We can also use selection sets to control the appearance of objects. So we can change the color, override the color. So here we'll just pick a purple color for the sprinkler system. And then you can see we've changed all the objects in that selection set by color. Um, a very powerful command in Nevisworks is the find items command. So here you can search through the different structures. So we're going to pick the fire sprinkler model and we're going to search by item for the name and we're going to look for all the pipes. So make sure you unselect match case and prune below result and then find all. So this will find all the pipes, pipe fittings and pipe accessories in the fire sprinkler pipe models. And we can right click and save that selection. So again, we can have a selection set of the results of our find item search. So we call this the FP pipes. You'll notice in the model that the pipes have got center lines, so you can turn them off. Rather than saving the selection set, it's better to save the search. And then when you upload the model in the future, you'll be able to find all the new objects. So we prefer to save searches rather than selection sets. And this becomes very useful if you want to itemize a model. So let's say we want to find all of the tanks that we can see in, our, in front. So we pick one tank. Now, we can see in the selection tree it's a gas cylinder. But if we use the properties, we can actually go up one step on the selection tree. And we can get all the properties from the Revit model. So here you can see it's type. This is a mechanical equipment. And it's a CO2 gas cylinder. So this is actually property input by the modelers. So we can do a search by type, and we can say we want to find all of the mechanical equipment that are CO2 canisters. And we do a find all. So this will pick up all the gas cylinders, and then we do a save search. So again, go to the sets window, right click, save search, and we call this CO2 gas cylinders. So you can find very specific objects using the search set functions. And here you can see we missed a cylinder. So if we click on the object, we can see it's a pilot cylinder. So again, we can do a search by mechanical equipment for pilot cylinders. And we can save this search set. Now these search sets can also be used in the quantification tool. So we can actually get a count on all the different objects that we're going to find. Uh, last example is to actually go by a type, and you can take all the sprinklers by type. So we're going to the very top of the tree, so you can see the sprinklers. So every type of sprinkler will be picked up. So we simply go to the search by type, and we scroll down until we find sprinklers. And rather than finding a specific type of sprinkler, we're finding all the sprinklers. So we do save search, and we call them sprinkler heads. And last but not least, you can organize these searches into folders. So we can create a FP search sets folder, and then we can click on each search set and control and move them into the search set folder.